On Tuesday, September 26th, Governor Andy Bashir visited Pike County to break ground on the new Millard Area Vocational Center. Construction on the new vocational school has already begun with more than $14 million invested in the project. Local leaders and school board members were more than pleased by the announcement. Well, it's just an exciting day for Pike County and the Pike County community. When you think about legislators and lawmakers and our governor looking at this area and saying, what can we do to improve our community? What can we do to improve Pike County? Uh, that's what this groundbreaking is all about. It's all about creating jobs that will keep people here in eastern Kentucky. It's all about creating situations where our kids don't have to leave, go to central Kentucky or, or worse, out of the state to try to find work. Yeah, at one time we all felt like everybody needed to go to college. Now we understand that trade is so important. And this ATC is, is obviously a recognition of that. The fact that we need trade skilled people and uh, there's so many good trade jobs out there in eastern Kentucky and we need to make sure that we give talent where talent is to make sure that those people will be there working in those jobs. At Appalachian Wireless, we have the best service and the best deals right now. Save up to $500 on iPhone 13s and 14s, all models, all gigabytes with trade-in. Maybe go for an iPhone 12 for a penny. A penny with a two-year contract. We're not leaving out Samsung. Save up to $350 on select Samsung devices, including the S23. It's a win-win this month at Appalachian Wireless. The service, the savings. Y'all got to jump on this deal right now. At Appalachian Wireless, we get you because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Wireless. The facility will also function as an addiction recovery center by night. Governor Bashir is confident that everyone deserves a second chance and the opportunity to work. We well, came from a number of places. You know, Greg May is a prominent businessman here in Eastern Kentucky, lost his brother, and has wanted to not only uh, assist um, it, uh, ARC in opening more of their facilities, including the one here on the property, but he's wanting to address all of the challenges people may have when they enter recovery. A good job is the number one thing. Once people get better, keeps them better. And the idea that you can run this facility with students during the day and, and with those seeking second chance employment at night makes it one of the most efficient facilities of its kind in the Commonwealth. And we need all of them. We've got so many jobs coming to Kentucky. We've got to not only not lose a single graduating senior, we got to get people better and get them into the jobs. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.